than to live in slavery. <laughs> All right, members of the Jamaica Youth Theatre, the Associate Director of the Jamaica Youth Theatre, Akeem Nignot, joins us in the heels of the performance at the Aberdeen International Youth Festival in Scotland. Am I not right? Yes, you're right. You're very much correct. Yeah, that's all right. I'm going to be bad. Yeah, man, you can be a part of it. But the youth, youth. Where is it? Bless. Good okay. to see you. What is, it? what is the youth data? And in this case, you're talking about maybe under 25, under 26. Huh? Yeah, up to 26. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, our Jamaica Youth Theatre was founded in 2004 as a performing arm of the Secondary Schools Drama Festival here okay. in Jamaica. And we've just, I think Jamaica Youth Theatre is a poster group for, you know, young people sustaining the Jamaican culture through the arts. You know, we try this popular, edgy style and we just try to explore um, just issues and messages faced by young people all over. We just try to make yeah. it a fun way. We just try to go where we know young people are. So we recently started doing webisodes. So we know that webisodes. that's where webisodes. That's yeah. where on the online. Those are those are, you know, episodes on online. I mean not <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know we have we're doing it called After Fridays. So it's just basically was every episode was a different issue. We have some you know we have a cast and every every week they would face different issues okay. and just you know just that's where young people are, so we try to be out yeah. there and having them. What went down in Scotland? What was that about? Oh, that was, listen, I can't tell you that that was a huge, huge deal for us, representing our country at that level. I just want to thank Chase Fund for, you know, allowing, um, enabling us to be a part of that, representing our country at that level. It was, a, it was the Aberdeen Youth Theatre Festival, which had over 50 countries, um, and it, what, over, I think, a thousand participants, and just fortunately, we were a part of, we were a part of that. We didn't lose thing, you know, it was just a festival, cultural okay. exchange, so okay. we did workshops, we did dance hall workshops, we had persons from different countries, listen to me. If you see them at Bogle and at Ankiat, it was such a thing. And you must I did a, yes, oh. and I did a workshop on dub poetry. So and just to see how they, they they really embraced our culture, it was beautiful. And there was a moment at the opening ceremony we had when we were walking the in the auditorium with our flag and our national anthem was being not just being played but being sung by a choir of Aberdeen locals. Beautiful. So, I, I mean it was it was just beautiful because it's it's it wasn't football, it wasn't athletics and standing, it was theatre and hearing our national anthem, you know, representing our country it was just beautiful. Yeah. What is the, the Friday's web series? Yeah. Alright, after Friday. So that's a webisode online where we have again young people um, doing different issues every month. So we put out a episode every month and they do issues like you know students preparing for CSEC or CAVE okay. and just peer pressure online dating which is a common issue among young okay. people now so we just try to I, I know our culture is ever evolving so we try to embrace it and adapt it okay. as much as possible. Anything special this month because it is youth month? Uh, yes uh, for uh, you know this is a good thing that this month we have the secondary school drama festival it's November the 20th um, at the little theater and we have we're uh, taking in application forms from says high school students they put on plays and they come and at the end of it's for a week and at the end of it we give out awards best production best actor best actress best director so okay. yeah and they can they got the chance of becoming a part of the Jamaica Youth Theatre we, we, we have, have some of some of your friends here but what's the, the next thing that's coming up for the youth theatre big 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 things you know Jamaica Youth Theatre we try to represent our country locally regionally and internationally so we're always looking for opportunities or a chance to, to do that and it, you know whether it's online entering competition videos or putting out production so we do that you know we just try to sustain the Jamaican culture as much as possible using our art you know music fantastic. dance and drum all right fantastic well let me now invite Brianna Melissa and Saskia um, to, to, to do some stuff so they are text me back it's called here they are now When a male black widow is trying to mate, he climbs onto the web of a female and dances with all eight of his legs. If she accepts the invitation, he inseminates her. 
In many cases, when it's all over, the male spider will hoist himself into the hands of a female. He accepts paralysis like a gift and willingly it becomes something she can eat during the pregnancy. When a male and female termites decides to reproduce, they take what is called a mating flight. They join together, leave their colonies, and procreate in midair. After fertilization, they land and break their own wings, making it impossible to ever fly with someone else again. Insects are finding eternal love to the point of pain, or even death. But what's crazy is, you can't keep a text in my back. I know you saw the messages. It said you read it. The girl that's popped up, you are clearly going to reply. But 27 minutes later, nothing. You just posted a Facebook status saying you're bored. Sweet snap out all your phones dry and nobody hits you up. What do you mean? I just called you. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Your battery died. You fell asleep. You dropped your phone in the toilet. Maybe you got hit by a car. Your phone was crushed by original traffic. You took an unexpected trip out of the country and forgot to switch service plans. You were kidnapped by a group of evil ninjas and held for hostage. Put up for auction. Put up, put up for auction. Put up for auction like Olivia Pope. Sold to a group of civilized gorillas. And now they're raising you. like I'm not worth your data. In, in this society, we manipulate gadgets into handheld heartbeats and have become emotionally dependent on technology. We gauge our importance based on the amount of notifications on our own screens. There's only enough room in cyberspace for our insecurity. We find love in the corner of quirky keyboards. Search for acceptance in direct messages. And, and silently mistake five bars of 4G signal, signal. For, for true connection. connection. What, what is love? love? It cannot manually adjust its screen brightness. What, what is, is joy? joy? If it doesn't respond within a minute. What is validation? If you cannot fit it in your hand or be refreshed with the swipe of a finger. If we put as much effort into checking in with ourselves as we do with our notifications, we could probably figure out the rules of our loneliness. A text back will not translate into self worth A double tap on a picture doesn't mean anything if you don't like what you see. A face call won't make it easier for you to face yourself. Don't be afraid to lose signal. Don't be afraid of an end of screen. Don't be afraid of yourself. Turn off your notifications. Put your phone on silent. Turn off the Wi-Fi and establish a new connection. You are all you ever needed. Can you hear it now? Can you feel it now? Good. Awesome. Brilliant. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was brilliant, members of the, the youth theatre. All right, go for a break. So come. No, man, quite cantankerous. You like the poem?